Welcome to Storytime with Mrs. Noe. The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors by Drew Daywalt. Pictures by Adam Rex. Three, two, one, go. Long ago, in an ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of Backyard, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land, but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Rock traveled to the mysterious forest of Over by the Tire Swing, where he met a warrior who hung on a rope holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man. I will pinch you and make you cry, Rock Warrior. Rock versus Clothespin. Rock is victorious. Even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied. So he journeyed on to the mystical tower of Grandma's favorite apricot tree. There he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little butt. What? I challenge you to a duel. Then let us battle. Rock versus apricot. I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness. Rock is victorious! Ugh, I am smushed. And yet smushing you has brought me no joy. Are you not entertained? They were entertained, but the battle had been too easy. So Rock left the kingdom of Backyard, still in search of a worthy foe. Meanwhile, in the empire of Mom's home office, on lowly and windswept Desk Mountain, a second great warrior sought the glory of battle, and his name was Paper. Even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad, because no one could outwit him. He set out across Desk Mountain to find his match. There he met a large and square monster. I gobble up the likes of you and spit them out every day, little paper. Oh, then taste my fury, giant box monster. Paper versus computer printer. No, not a paper jam. Paper is victorious. Having beaten the fiercest fighter of Desk Mountain, Paper climbed down to the pit of office trash bin, where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land. The half-eaten bag of trail mix. Paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix. Ah, foul wizard! He's blotted out the sun! Run for your lives, laddies! Paper wins again. Can no one beat me? And so, with a heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of Mom's home office. At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of Drunk Drawer, there lived a third great warrior. They called her Scissors and she was the fastest blade in all the land. She too was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let us do battle, you tacky and vaguely round monstrosity. I will battle you, and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tangling powers. Scissor versus roll of tape. Scissors is victorious. Scissors forged on across the kitchen realm to the frigid wastes of refrigerator-freezer. 
There she met her most fearsome adversaries yet. Dinosaurs made of frozen breaded chicken. I have come from the far reaches of kitchen to battle you, O bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaurs. Bow before our child-pleasing shapes and flavors, sword master. No one can resist our crunchy awesomeness. Scissors versus dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets. Dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets win? No, wait, no, they don't. Scissors is victorious again. Am I so good that not even dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets can beat me? And so Scissors, like rock and paper before her, traveled beyond her own kingdom, seeking out a challenger who was her equal. Then one day, in the great cavern of Two-Car Garage, Rock and Scissors came face to face. I hope you're wearing your battle pants, Rock Warrior. If by battle pants you mean no pants, but I'm willing to fight you, then yes. Yes, I'm wearing my battle pants, weird scissory one. Rock versus Scissors. An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately, Rock is victorious. You have made me so happy by beating me. I wish I felt your joy, Scissors, for I've yet to meet a warrior who can beat me. Hi there. Those are fighting words. Wait, what? Rock versus paper. This is the best day of my life. Thank you for winning, O great knight of paper. That's fine for you, but it looks as though no one will ever beat me. Not so fast, paper. Wait, what? Scissors versus paper. You beat me. And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy, and they became fast friends. Finally, they had each met their matches. They were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again. Round and round they went in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it is said that this joyous struggle still rages on to this very day. That is why children around the world... In backyards, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three greatest warriors by playing rock, paper, scissors. I really hope you enjoyed that story. I think it's a pretty cute way of coming up with how maybe rock, paper, scissors started. I want to take you back to right after Rock won his final match against Apricot. And he is really still not happy. But if you look at the picture, you have him in the middle of this circle of items from the yard, uh, jack-o'-lantern, squirrels, pigeon, tricycle, all these things cheering him in this circle. And he's yelling, are you not entertained? And what this is, is an allusion, A-L-L-U-S-I-O-N which is where authors and movie directors and and writers, they take something from history or um, a classic piece of literature and they put it into their own story. And you're only going to notice it if you know a lot about history or ancient literature, not even ancient literature, classic literature. But what this picture is alluding to is the movie Gladiator, which hopefully not a lot of you have seen. I'm sure it is not rated G or PG. But if you happen to have seen it, there's a scene where Maximus is in the Gladiator arena and he's just fought this battle and killed a bunch of people and they've had this big Gladiator battle and he's looking at the crowd and he yells at them, Are you not entertained? So the author here, Drew Daywalt, is alluding to that movie and also alluding to the time of gladiators when people would fight for an audience. So even in this little kid children's book, picture book, we can find um, these allusions 
to uh, to history. And I just found that quite funny when I first read this, that that allusion was in here. So little tip there for you about looking for allusion in children's books.